what is going on guys welcome back to another video i know it's been a while and i know this video is very very different than what you guys are used to seeing here at my channel but i remember i used to watch a lot of unboxing videos all the time whenever i was a kid and so i was like bro why not make one all of this by the way is camera equipment that i purchased and um as you can see by the title of the video today we're gonna be answering questions you guys ask me questions on instagram and I'm gonna be answering them. So let's do it. By the way, this is all camera equipment. I was watching back one of my videos and I was so upset at how bad the audio was and how bad the quality of like the video was. I got so mad that I was like, bro, I, I, cannot, I cannot keep on putting out videos that aren't like the best quality possible so i got mad in i spent the bag on amazon one of the first big things that i bought was this this bad boy right here boom this is my new camera guys meet my new camera this is the sony a7 iv or sony a7 IV. i watched so many youtube videos and this is the one that they recommended so you guys are going to notice a big change in quality in my YouTube videos. Not in the next two because the next two I filmed on this camera. So the quality might be kind of booty cheeks still. But the next, next, next one, you're going to see a big difference in quality. Because, because I mean, because I mean, if I paid 2000 and something for this camera, it better be good. Look at it. Ooh. Look at this, guys. This is my new camera right here. This is going to be my new baby. Oh, man. This is so beautiful, bro. Look at this. I watched this so many times across the screen in YouTube video reviews and stuff. And it feels crazy actually holding it. It's much lighter than I thought it would be, which is a good thing. By the way, thank you guys, man. Because without you guys, I would not be able to afford things like these. So you guys' support goes a long way. Trust me when I tell you that hitting that subscribe button and hitting that like button is a, a life changer. So just if you're subscribed to me and you like my videos, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. It means the world to me. It literally changed my life. But yeah, this is the first item on the unboxing, my new camera. I actually bought it used because it was on sale on Amazon for $2,000. One hundred and twenty nine dollars. I think the original price for a camera like this is like two thousand five hundred or two thousand six hundred. So if I have the opportunity to save four hundred dollars, I'm going to take it. So here we go. But before we continue, let me answer the first question. I already knew I was going to get questions like these, but I guess now is the time to talk about it. So let's get into it. Geo Oler 8 asked, how can you continue to hang out with old friends who are still living in continued sin my answer to this is that i don't i try my hardest and my best to not hang out with people who are gonna push me or what's that word influence me to do things that the bible tells me not to do so as you guys have seen i don't hang out with the guys as much and by the guys i mean santi yero kevin jose um and the reason why is because they're on a whole different path, man. They're on a whole different path in their life. Completely different from the path that I'm on. Don't get me wrong, I love the guys to death. I mean, I have a lot of memories with them. We made a lot of memories. I laugh so much every single time that I hang out with them. Like, their sense of humor is undefeated. I cannot deny that I have a great time every time that I hang out with them. But the question that I always ask myself is, is it worth it? The truth is, guys, and I know a lot of you guys are not going to want to admit this, but the truth is that the circle that you're in, your friends, the people you're around, the environment that you put yourself in is going to have an impact on the person that you are. It's going to have an impact on the way that you think. It's going to have an impact on the way that you act. It's going to have an impact on just your personality in general. Me being a Christian and turning my life to God came with a lot of things. Jesus himself said that it wasn't going to be easy. It's, it's, it's not going to be easy being a Christian. It's not easy. It takes a lot of sacrificing that you have to do. So one of the things that I had to sacrifice was that I had to let go of a lot of things that God was telling me in that moment to let go of. Some of those things are drinking, partying, cussing, having sex before marriage, going to places in which any of those things are being done. The point is that I had to let go of a lot of things 
And in the early stages of my walk with God, I would always come across this Bible verse that says that bad company corrupts good character. I would always see it over and over. And I took it as that being God's way of telling me that I need to really take into consideration that the people that I surround myself with are going to have an impact on the way that I act and on my character. But yeah, the point is that your company, the people you surround yourself with, the people you're around, have an impact on your character, have an impact on the way you think, like I mentioned before, and all these other things. So that being said, I had to dis distance myself from the guys and really limit the time that I spent with them. At the time, whenever I was first starting my walk with God, I was a little bit weaker in the sense that I was more easily influenced and I was aware of it, which is good. It's good to be aware of it and to not be prideful and, and think, oh no, like the people that I'm, I'm around doesn't matter. Like I can hang out with anybody and it's not gonna affect me. I consider that to be pride. Uh, obviously everybody's gonna wanna think like that. But for me personally, I was like, man, I can't fool myself. Like every time I'm around them, my lingo changes, the way that I speak changes. I slip up and I cuss. I slip up and I say things that I shouldn't have said. And desires in me arise to want to party and to want to drink and to want to do all these other things that whenever I'm not with them, I normally don't desire. So that being said, in my early stages of my walk with God, I had to distance myself from them. And so I really limited the time that I would spend with them. Now that I'm stronger in my walk with God and now that I'm really, I would say, planted and not many things can shake me around and move me, um, I am glad that I made that decision to distance myself from them because I know that I wouldn't have gotten to where I'm at now as fast as I did if I hadn't taken those steps. So, yeah, I just wanted to explain to you guys uh, the, what the reason is for why I don't hang out with the guys too much. I don't know if I've explained it or not in previous videos, but basically it's that. I had a lot of things that I would struggle with and being around them would make me want to fall back into those things. So listen guys, like the thing is I'm, I'm about to be married as well. I'm about to marry. Valentina, my wife, the girl that I am completely deeply in love with. I'm just in a whole different like world than the guys are. The guys are much younger than me, except for Yero. I think Yero is only one year younger than me. And Jose is two years younger than me and Santi is three, I think. But age is just a number, man. Like people mature at different ages. I'm not trying to say that I'm more mature than them, but I'm just in a different path than they are at the time. By the way, this is the second second uh, item of the day. It is the lens that I bought for my camera. <laughs> oh, look how freaking beautiful this is, bro. Oh man, I was so used to seeing it online. Seeing it in person is just insane. So crazy. But yeah, this little thing alone cost me $459. That's crazy, and I bought it used too. Oh, there we go, I clicked. Here it is, guys. This is my new camera right here. <laughs> I'm so excited, bro. I am so happy about this. Look at how sexy this looks, bro. Ooh, this right here is already like almost $3,000. That's crazy. But yeah, to answer your question, I do not hang out with the guys as much as I used to anymore for the reasons that I've said already. But that doesn't mean that they're not, that we're not on speaking terms. I feel like they all understand the path that I'm on right now. And man, if I'm being honest, I never thought I would be the one to, in a sense, leave the group. I never thought it would be me. But the reason why I never thought it would be me to leave the group is because I could never picture me like getting into beef with anybody and not being able to resolve it. But I never took into consideration that I was going to change completely, that my mind was going to change, that God was going to get a hold of me and tell me, hey, look, I need you to be my servant. I need you to do things the right way and just completely change my life in a year. So I guess in a sense, I did leave the group. 
it for obedience to God. Some of you guys may understand, some of you guys may not, which is completely fine. I don't expect everybody to understand. And don't get me wrong, man. It, at first, it was really scary. At first, it was pretty scary because not only are they my friends, but they were also the people that I would do literally like 90% of my videos with. 90% of this channel contains videos in which the guys are a part of. You guys fell in love with us as a group. You guys support us as the group. And I think that the majority of you guys who are subscribed to this channel subscribe to it because of the guys and because of us as a group more than just me as a person, which sucks. And it's, it was a scary feeling at first because I was like, man, like if I distance myself from them and I stop making videos with them, like how am I going to how am I going to live off of YouTube anymore? Like, nobody's going to watch me anymore. Nobody's going to want to keep up with me. Like, my career is going to be over. I'm going to have to just find another job. And all these worries and questions just started rising into my head. But the truth is, guys, whenever you're a servant of God, whenever you're living for God, you don't have to worry about anything. Things might not look right or things might not look like they're going to work out here on Earth in the natural. But bro, like you cannot limit God to what he can do. And that's one of the things that I learned as a Christian is that you cannot put a limit on God. You cannot just go based off what your own calculations and your own logic because God is not logical. God will do miracles that your mind could never even comprehend. And so that is where my trust is on now. It is not, I feel like before it was just on my own ideas and my own mind. But now... I'm um, just leaving it all to God. I'm gonna. I'm taking it day by day, trying to see what type of content I'm gonna do. What I do know that I want to do is up my quality in my videos. So that's why I got a camera. I got these two batteries for my camera, and a bunch of other stuff. But yeah, guys, I've been doing a lot of thinking, a lot of praying mainly. And if there's one thing that I'm sure of, is that if I'm sacrificing and leaving things behind to please God, I'm gonna be okay. These two batteries, by the way, are $78 each. $78 each, that's insane. Sony, you guys are ripping us off. It gets expensive, but it's gonna be worth it. All right, this next question, I feel like goes hand by hand with this other one. Where do you see yourself in the next upcoming year? If I'm being completely honest, guys, I have no clue. I have no idea where I'm gonna be, be at one year from now, but I have peace in my heart, man. I have peace in my heart and in my mind. Living with God is just insane. Like, unless, unless you are doing it, you won't understand it because you just live with this peace of mind and just tranquility, knowing that nothing can trouble you, nothing can hurt you, nothing can, like, nothing can harm you. As long as you have God with you, you're chilling, bro. Like, you're good. So I have no clue where I'm gonna be at. This year could be my best year ever. And I'm praying for that. I'm praying that this year will be my best year ever. I have a lot of ideas, but I feel like the difficult part is which one do I choose? Like, I have so many ideas where I wanna take, in which direction I wanna take this channel. I have so many ideas of businesses. I have so many ideas of things that I wanna do in general. But the hard part is just choosing which one, like which one should I do? I'm speaking career-wise right now, but aside from career, bro, like this year is already gonna be the best year of my life. This year is the year that I'm getting married. Well, actually I already got married. A lot of you guys might not know, but I'm already a married man. I got married February the day that I got married by court to Valentina. We got married already. And I know to a lot of you guys, that's probably crazy because you guys are like, man, like you guys just met this, this and that. But the truth is, guys, we were living together for a full year. Valentina and I got to know each other so much in that year. Living with somebody is a game changer, bro. Like you get to know that person at a whole different level, obviously, because you're spending every second of the day with them. And I love I love my relationship with her, man, because it exposed so many things within myself that I needed to work on. And as much as it showed me all the bad things in me, it showed me a lot of great qualities that I have that I didn't even know I had. So, man, being in a relationship just exposes so much of your character and helps you grow so much. And when you put God in the middle of it, 
Bro, so aside from career, I'm expecting this year to be the best year of my life, which sounds awesome to say, man, because last year alone was already the best year of my life. Last year, God changed my life around completely for the better. Last year, I proposed to Valentina. Last year, I got my first ever apartment. It's, it's a blessing to be able to say that last year was the best year of my life. And I have a feeling that this next year, I'm gonna be able to say that this year was the best year of my life as well. But career-wise, I have two videos coming up. I have two hide-and-seek videos that I had so much fun filming. I hope that you guys come back and watch that one. Eventually, once, once Valentina and I buy a house, I wanna start maybe a podcast or something where I can just do this, where I could just sit down, have like a professional mic so you guys can hear me better and just express my feelings on random things bro literally just random things whether it's like controversial things going on in the world right now or or crazy news like crazy things going on in pop culture or in just life in general i want to be able to do that so hopefully once we get our house and we're settled in i'm able to you know get a little studio going where we can do that but i don't know everything is just an idea right now we'll see where it goes next item is this one it is a battery charger. It was 18 bucks. Super cool for 18 bucks. I think that was a steal. FW Texas Chris asked, are the boys going to live in y'all's area? I wanted to answer this one because it goes hand by hand by what we're talking about right now. So the answer is no. The guys were supposed to live in Dallas with us. Dallas is the place where Valentina and I are looking to get a house at, but about one week ago, my brother and I were on the phone, just talking, catching up. And he said that the guys are most likely not gonna move to Dallas anymore because they, they're just having a good time in Houston and they feel like Houston is just the way to go. So that's it, man. That's pretty much it. The guys and, our, the guys and I are going our separate ways. I feel like before in LA, I was distancing myself from them, but we were only 20 minutes away from each other, so. We could literally just drive 20 minutes and be at each other's place. But now it's gonna be a whole different game. Now we're gonna be in completely different cities. We're gonna be about four to five hours away from each other. So I think that's it, man. And when I say I think that's it, I mean like content wise. I feel like they're always gonna be my friends. We don't really talk as much anymore, if I'm being honest. I actually left the group chat not too long ago. I left the group chat that we were in and the reason why is because, once again, we're just on completely different paths in life. The guys are single. The guys are wild. The guys, you know, have their way of having fun. And it's polar opposite to the way that I have fun and the things that I like to talk about. We're just completely different people now. Back then, we used to be the same. We were literally the same, the same way that the guys are now. It's the same way that I used to be. So that's why we used to be friends and that's why we used to get along so well and, and hang out so often. But now since I'm on a whole different mindset and a whole different path, it just doesn't make sense for me to hang out and talk to them like about things that I don't do anymore. This is the next package. I think this was around $150. This is the mic that I'm wearing right now on my chest. I don't know. Hopefully it sounds good. How does it sound? If it doesn't, I'm returning it, but I definitely need these for the guess the liar type of videos because the quality needs to get better on those videos. But yeah, one of the things that made me this made me take that decision of like, man, I need to leave this group chat was that one of the guys sent a screenshot to the group chat in which a girl was wearing a bikini. Now keep in mind, I'm a taken man. Uh, not only am I a taken man, but I'm about to get married. Not only that, but lust is something that I used to struggle with a lot. And one of the one of the first things that I did in my walk with God was I unfollowed every single girl from my social media. The reason why is because I knew that I suffered from lust. I was conscious that that was something that I was struggling with. So one of the ways that I was taught to heal in that area and get better at you know, not indulging myself into that sin was to avoid it. It's like if you have a problem with alcohol, why would you constantly put yourself in a club when you struggle with alcoholism? 
right? Or if you have a problem with drugs, why are you going to constantly surround yourself with people that are always doing drugs? It just won't make sense. In that same way, I used to struggle with lust. So one of the first things that I did was I unfollowed every single girl on my Instagram. I didn't want to see girls, you know, in their bikinis anymore or just girls being provocative in any way anymore because number one i wanted to remain loyal even by looking this is the thing guys the bible is so like strict on certain things and it's for a reason one of the things that the bible strict on it says that whoever looks at a woman to lust after her has already committed adultery with her in her heart so what that means is that if you are a taken man and you are looking just looking lusting at another woman in God's eyes, that's cheating. In God's eyes, you already committed you already committed adultery, which means that you cheated with her, with the girl that you're looking at in your heart. So that's how serious God takes things, and it's for a reason. And the reason why, I'm going to explain it to you, the reason why it's bad to do that, the reason why God says that lusting is the same as cheating, is because it all starts there, man. It all starts with you just looking, then you start entertaining those thoughts in your head, then those thoughts eventually make their way down to your heart. Then once they make their, their way down to your heart, you're gonna wanna act on them. You're gonna want to either go and talk to that girl or DM her or just go into your wherever and mask or watch porn, just please yourself somehow. And the truth is, is that all of those addictions, every sex addict, it all started with lust. That is, that is the seed form of it. And then once you start entertaining it, once you start watering that, the more you do it, the more it's going to grow and turn into different things. That's how you get so many people addicted to so many people addicted to so many people addicted to so many different things. And it doesn't stop. It always just keeps evolving and evolving, evolving because you're never going to be able to fulfill it. The camera is dying. Be right back. But yeah, man, just to summarize, one of the guys sent a screenshot to the group chat in which a girl was in a bikini. And this wasn't the first time that that happened, but this was my last time where I had to decide and I had to be like, man, like I'm already protecting my eyes from seeing things like that on social media or anywhere else. So having to see that in a group chat, instead of me telling them, hey guys, stop doing that, I just decided, you know what, um, let me just leave, let me just extract myself from there. So I told the guys, I texted them, I was like, I love you guys, if you guys need anything, let me know, hit me up. And then I just left the group chat. And I feel like that was like one of the last steps that I took to, um, that kind of sealed me leaving or like distancing my way from them and uh, yeah they haven't really reached out to me ever since then um which i don't know why they would you know i feel like i said before a thousand times we're just different paths their interests are different than my interests and their priorities are different than my priorities. My priorities in life is to please God, man, to please God in everything that I do. That is what I strive to do every single day is to just please God in the way that I speak, please God in the way that I act, please God in the way that I treat my wife, please God in the way that I treat others, please God in what goes in through my ears, what goes in through my eyes, what I'm seeing, what I do in the dark, what I do in secret when nobody's looking. Living for God is not easy, man, but it's so worth it. I would leave anything behind to please God and nothing or anybody will ever be able to change my mindset on that because God is just way too good to me. But like I said before, I still have a lot of love for the guys, man. They're still going to be at my wedding. I'm still going to be part of their lives in their big moments. The only difference is that we're not going to hang out as much anymore. And chances are, since we're going to be living so far, that you guys won't be seeing them on this channel as often as you used to. So if that's the only reason why you subscribe to me or you watch me, I think now is the time to unsubscribe. But look guys, this is actually one of the accessories that I'm most excited about is this battery right here. Oh, look at this, bro. So how this one works is that it goes in here and you plug this into the wall. That way, you never have your battery is never gonna die. I'm never gonna have this problem of, hey guys, the battery is dying. I'll never have that problem again. 
it's so clutch it's obviously more for like sit down videos like these or guess the liar type of videos or game show type of videos but i'm so excited about this bro so excited one last question guys and we'll end it here alexis benitez asked why did you start youtube i love this question man i actually asked myself the same exact question not too long ago because uh with youtube man it gets really confusing and not just with the youtube with social media in general being your job and being your source of income it gets really confusing at times and really tricky and you have to realign your mind with me personally i felt like my orientation to do videos was more of like okay what type of video is going to give me the most money what type of video is going to give me the most views what type of video is going to generate the most money how can i spend as little money on the videos so that i can make the most amount of profit out of it when in reality when i first started youtube it was never like that man so that was one of the questions that i had to ask myself in order to realign my mind was how did it used to be when i first started when i first started man my focus was just on delivering videos that were going to entertain people i didn't care how much i was going to spend on the video i didn't care how much it was going to take take me to film it i didn't care what i had to do as long as i knew that i was delivering a video that was going to entertain people I was happy. Watching back the video and being satisfied with how entertaining it was, was everything for me. I didn't care about how many views it would get. I didn't care about how, many, how much money it would generate me. All I cared about was the video being super entertaining, grabbing people's attention, and just having people enjoy something that I created. Recently, I feel like that's where my focus is at. I want to get back into that. I want to get back into making videos that are just going to entertain you guys, regardless of how much money I have to spend on it, regardless of me not making any money on a video. I don't care if I have to lose money on a video. If it means that you guys are entertained, I'm going to go for it. So yeah, the reason why I started YouTube was to entertain people was because I get joy out of creating something that entertains people. And now I'm hopping back into that and let's get it. We're upping the quality. Remember, the next two videos are gonna be kinda eh, cause they were filmed on this camera and it was at nighttime. But the video after that is gonna be on this camera. So stay tuned. I'm pumped for you guys to see this new quality and it's gonna be dope. With that being said, guys, thank you, thank you so much if you made it to the end of this video. If you're watching right now, thank you, man. That means that you watched the whole entire video. I appreciate you so much. Thank you for your support. Thank you to every single one of you guys that subscribed and are still gonna be subscribed even though I'm not gonna be making videos with the guys as often anymore. I appreciate you so much. And yeah, thank you guys. You guys changed my life, man. As much as God changed my life, he changed my life through you guys as well, man. You guys just watching me means the world to me. Let me not get too deep, man. I'm just gonna end the video right here. I love you guys, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace. God bless you. Got a zoom lens now. I've always wanted to do this. Oh. Chilling or no chilling?